What's up everybody? So I know I said I was going to take a break from experimenting with print on demand for a while. However, since June is Pride Month, I got this idea a couple weeks ago to do a print on demand pride themed challenge. Yeah, I guess this is a weird way of me coming out and saying, what's up guys? I am gay and now I'm going to try to make money selling gay t-shirts. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. For those of you that don't know me already, hello, my name is Meg. I make videos about making money online, trying out different side hustles and online business ideas, and also I just occasionally vlog sometimes. So if that's something that you're interested in, please hit that subscribe button down below, turn on the bell so that you're notified whenever I post a new video. And I mean, while you're at it, you might as well give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. It helps a lot more than you know. I never made a coming out video, I was tempted to a few times. I guess this is a weird way of me um, coming out. So yeah, I thought in honor of Pride 2020, I'm going to create a print on demand store selling gay pride themed shirts and hoodies and taking you guys along with me on this process. I already went and created my Shopify store. It's called Gay at Home. And um, in this video, I'm also going to be experimenting with Pinterest ads. This is the 2020 print on demand pride month challenge. Let's get started. First of all, for those of you guys that are new to this channel where we talk about online business, print on demand is a business model where you get to customize your own products and sell them on either a store or a marketplace. You don't have to invest in inventory upfront and the only time you pay for a product is when your store actually makes a sale. So if you don't have an inventory of clothing or other customizable products to sell to customers, then where do you get your products? Well, you would work with a print on demand fulfillment service. The two most popular print on demand fulfillment services that I personally know of and have used before are Printful and Printify and I'm going to be using Printify in this video. I've used Printful as well in the past. I've made video tutorials on how to create products with Printful. I recommend both of these services because some products are available on Printify but not Printful and other products are available on Printful but not Printify. So in this video we're going to be using Printify but you can check out both Printful and Printify if you're interested in creating your own customizable print-on-demand products. I have links to both Printify and Printful in the description of this video. The way that Printful and Printify work is you're going to create an account just like I have and there you can upload your own custom designs onto their different selection of products. Whenever you or a customer makes an order, they are going to manufacture, package, and ship the products directly to your customer so you never have to touch it. Also, before we really get into this video, I just want to make it clear that when it comes to online business, including print on demand, I am a complete beginner. I have not found success with the print on demand business model. Anything I say in this video is coming from a beginner's perspective. And if you want to start an online business, you should seriously do other research elsewhere before you start. So like I mentioned earlier, I created a Shopify store for this video called Gay at Home, gayathome2020.com. I wanted it to just be gayathome.com but apparently that's a premium domain and I had to pay like $1,700 for it. So I came up with the name Gay at Home for my Shopify store because of the fact that most pride festivals and parades that usually happen in June. As far as I know, most of the parades and festivals are canceled this year. It's sort of like a play on words with the whole stay at home order situation and it also goes well with like the design ideas that I came up with. So for this challenge, I created three pride themed designs, Gay at Home, Pride 2020, the one where we had to gay at home, as well as Pride 2020, the one where we were quarantined. I got inspiration for those last two designs from seeing similar designs on Etsy. After I made these designs, I created a t-shirt and a hoodie for each of them using Printify. So I have six products in my Shopify store altogether. So for those of you that don't know what Shopify is, they are basically an e-commerce platform where you can go and start an online store. I created my online store completely free using this platform and I'd recommend 
recommend it to anyone who's looking to create an online store, whether it's print on demand, a drop shipping store, or anyone who just needs an online presence for an already existing store. Shopify is extremely easy to use, so it's perfect for beginners. I myself have absolutely no experience as a web designer or developer, but I'm pretty proud of how my store came out and I was able to create it in four days. So I have 10 days left in my free trial. If you're interested, there's a link in the description for a 14 day free trial, which gives you plenty of time to try out the platform and see if it's for you. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to jump into my computer and start screen recording so that I can show you guys around and show you a bit of what my print on demand store looks like. Okay, so now that I'm screen recording, as you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard. This is the analytics where people take all those cool screenshots of how many sales they have. Um, this is the Shopify homepage. So, so far I've added all of my products. I customized the theme and I added a domain. This domain cost me $12. So, so far that's how much I've spent on this project. The theme I chose for my store is boundless and I'll show you guys what that looks like. So I just launched that store today. I just finished designing it today. And after that, I created a Pinterest business account because I'm planning to use Pinterest ads for this video and experiment with advertising on Pinterest a little bit. Now you're probably wondering why Pinterest ads? 90% of Pinterest users are looking on Pinterest to make purchasing decisions. 50% of Pinterest users say they buy after seeing a promoted pin. 55% of Pinterest users said they logged in on Pinterest to find new products. And Pinterest is about four times more effective at generating sales than any other social media platform. That's why I'm using Pinterest because of the buyer intent and because it's, I know it's a good place to advertise clothing and especially print on demand. I'm not finished making my Pinterest ad campaign, so I'm going to quickly work on that because I want to start running my ads by midnight tonight. So I'm going to finish those up and I will see you guys tomorrow with an update on how this goes. I'll show you guys the ad creatives. I'll let you guys see into my ad campaign like dashboard on Pinterest and everything. For now, I'm going to figure that out and update you guys tomorrow. So I will see you guys tomorrow with an update. Okay guys, what's up? I am back. It is day two of this print on demand pride month challenge. I have a little update for you guys. I really don't have too much to tell you right now, but I do have work later. So I want to explain what I've done since the last update before I go to work. So last night I set up the Pinterest ads. I'm going to jump into my computer and show you guys exactly what I did. Just keep in mind that I'm not like a professional when it comes to Pinterest ads or any type of paid advertising. This is my first time using Pinterest ads. Now that I'm screen recording, I'm going to jump into my Pinterest account and show you guys how I set this up. So I have this Pinterest business account, which you have to create if you want to run ads. And this is what the little dashboard looks like. My Pinterest ads started running a half hour ago. I had launched them at midnight, but it takes a little while for them to get approved just the same way that it is with Facebook. And I don't plan on making any changes because I want to just let them run. In my business hub, it says I spent $6.58 so far. I got 422 impressions and nine link clicks. All right, so this is what it looks like inside of my campaign. I'm running a traffic campaign. You can't run a conversion campaign until you have at least 50 conversions on your website from Pinterest. And this is a brand new website, brand new Pinterest account. In my one campaign, I have one ad group. I might create a another ad group, but basically I have this one ad group running for a total lifetime budget of $75. This is what the one ad looks like. This is the Pride 2020, the one where we were quarantined. I made this mock-up using a website called placeit.net. So basically I created
created a carousel. I have the mock-up as the first image and then I have just a plain photo of the shirts. I have a couple different colors. If they click on it, it takes them right to the product page. And the next one is the Pride 2020, the one where we had to gay at home. Same concept, it's another carousel. I plan on creating another ad group with a video ad. So yeah, I'll update you guys either later tonight when I'm done work or tomorrow. Whenever I decide to update you guys, it'll be either later tonight or tomorrow. That's what's been going on so far. Um, I'll see you guys in the next update. Yo, what's up everybody? It is day three of this Print on a Man Pride Month challenge. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot to update you guys about again, other than to show you guys that this is the video that I ended up creating for my third version of my ad. This is how it came out and I'm honestly pretty proud. <laughs> Okay, so then later last night, I had to go to work from 4 to 9 p.m. So after I added that video ad creative, it took like a pretty long time to get approved. Anyways, it is finally approved and all my ads are running. I'm kind of confused with the whole Pinterest ads dashboard and whole Pinterest business hub. I'm not going to mess with the ads at all today and just see what happens. But yeah, that's the update for the day. So I will see you guys tomorrow with another update and I'll see you guys soon. Yo, what's up everybody? It is actually not the next day or the day after that or even like the day after that. It's been a good couple of days since I last updated this video. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I actually finally got my hair cut. Some of the salons around where I live are finally opening up because I live in Pennsylvania and my county is now in the green phase. And now I have some unfortunate news to tell you guys about the way that this challenge is ending. The reason I didn't update you guys in the past couple of days is because to be honest, there was wasn't really anything to update you guys on. After I launched that video on Pinterest, I let it go. I tried not to touch it. I tried not to even look at Pinterest or Shopify. And now I have to break some unfortunate news to you guys. Just a warning, these results might shock you. For this challenge, we have made a total of zero dollars in sales, which means negative $75. And then add on the $12 that I paid for this custom domain. So that's a total of negative $87 in profit, but we did get 106 online store sessions. Okay, but I am going to explain what this little dip here is in the graph because I think I messed up my Pinterest ads the other day and that might have played a part in why I didn't get any sales because my Pinterest ads weren't really running this entire time like I thought that they were. Okay, so what I think happened over the past couple days is I messed up the ad budget on Pinterest just a little bit. So when I was originally creating my campaign, I set the campaign budget as a total of $75. However, when I went into the ad group because I thought I was going to create a separate ad group, I only set that budget to like, I think it was $30. I ended up not creating another ad group and just put the video ad in the same ad group as the other two carousel ads. But at the time that I launched the video ad, that ad group actually used all of the budget on that one carousel ad because I had the entire ad group set to $30. That's what I think happened and that's why I stopped getting traffic a couple of days ago and then yesterday when I went back into Pinterest I realized what had happened and I set the ad group budget to $75. So these Pinterest ads were running for about five days but not really. There was definitely at least two days where I thought my ads were running but they really weren't. So yeah that was kind of a dumb mistake that I made. Anyways if you guys know anything about Pinterest ads what do you guys think? happened. I'd like to hear your theories in the comments below. I'm going to wrap up this video. I'm sorry that this was sort of anticlimactic. I was really hoping that I would at least get a couple of sales and I was really confident in my store and in my products and in my ads. However, these things don't always work out. I hope you guys got some value out of this video by seeing the process of starting a print-on-demand store on Shopify and then launching Pinterest ads. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. What do you guys think and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you're notified whenever I post a new video. I'm going to be posting all print on demand tutorials next week so I'm going to be doing a Shopify tutorial where I show you guys how I set up this store and then I'm going to do another tutorial where I take you guys into print
Printify and show you how to customize products. So definitely stay tuned for those videos next week and I will see you guys then. Peace out.